Welcome back. Our next guest is sounding the alarm from the front lines of the border crisis. The mayor of Laredo, Texas, begging a federal judge to stop the buses packed with COVID positive migrants from flooding into his city. This is more than 280 migrants have been taken to Laredo shelters since Sunday. At least 75 of them are COVID positive. That's about 25% are COVID positive. Laredo, Texas Mayor Pete Sines joins us right now. Mayor, good morning to you. Yes, good morning, Steve. Thank you for uh, taking interest in the border. Uh, it, it's of great interest to everybody. Uh, that is why you had to declare a disaster the other day to ask a judge, please tell the federal government to stop flooding our streets with these COVID positive uh, migrants and migrants in general. We just don't have enough room, right? Absolutely. Yeah, we've been. Uh... Uh, it's, it's truly a crisis. It's a triple crisis. We have a border security crisis. We have a health crisis here in our city, in the area. And of course, we have a humanitarian crisis uh, as well. And it's all as a result of this huge influx of migrants that are coming in uh, throughout the entire border area. And of course, Laredo is no exception. Our yeah, situation is compounded because we, we have migrants being bussed uh, to the Laredo area because the uh, RGV, which is a, about 150 miles downriver of Laredo, uh, is just overwhelmed. Uh, I think they've had over 400,000 migrants uh, since October 1st, I believe. Uh, so uh, you know we're we're now the the place where they're bringing these migrants for further processing. Yesterday we did reach an agreement with the Border Patrol, uh, so uh, there's no need to to continue the lawsuit. But it's temporary now. The city of Laredo, proper with with uh, taxpayer money, we're financing the busing of these migrants further north uh, into Texas, uh, so they can reach their destinations. Uh, right. Uh, so it's 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 become so complicated, uh, Steve. No kidding. And Mayor, the president was asked the other day about you know he's concerned with uh, people in this country having COVID, but at the same time our southern border seems to be wide open and the president cited title 42 saying we're turning everybody around at the border saying you can't come in because of COVID. he said the only people being let in are children you're seeing the people i'm looking at the video they're letting in a lot more than just kids Absolutely, and yeah. it's called, it's these family units, and of course they they bring the children so the family members can also uh, tag along. And, and again, it's the asylum seekers. The policy is there, uh, but obviously the you know, something's something's terribly wrong here. Uh, it's not orderly. There's chaos, and obviously it's creating this crisis that we're facing here uh, throughout the entire border area. So we're asking for resources. If you or if you're insisting in this policy. Enforce it, uh, uh, you know, uh, make it work uh, right. totally on the federal, you know, nickel. I don't expect the locals to, uh, you know, to uh, to expend monies, you know, right. to to help the federal government. Uh, no. We can do our part. No but kidding. That's all we can do. If the feds are going to ask you to take all these people, they should at least help you with the money, and you could use it. Uh, Mayor Pete Signs of Laredo, sir, thank you very much. I know you got your hands full. Thanks for starting your morning with us. Thank you very much. Take care.